Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at how you can connect any hard disk with your computer through the USB port. So for to do, to do this you will need a device. This is the uh, SATA 2 USB 2.0 converter. Now a disclaimer you will not get very high speed but in certain situation where we can't connect our hard disk to our device. Maybe you have a laptop and you want to connect a 3.5 uh, inch hard disk to your laptop so that you can transfer the data from the desktop hard drive to the uh, your laptop uh, then you can use this uh, drive also sometimes we don't have a running computer and we still need to do something to the hard disk maybe we need to copy some data to the hard disk and our computer is not working we can again take the hard disk from our computer out which is not working and then the hard disk will be easily able to connect uh, with another computer that's working through the USB port so this is the box I bought it about uh, four or five years ago and it is still working and uh, let's take a look at what we get in the box and with this uh, you can connect a small laptop hard disk your desktop 3.5 hard disk you can also connect a DVD ROM a CD ROM or any uh, uh, legacy device uh, that you can remember uh, in your PC so in the box first you will get a, a molex uh, to SATA connector let's keep it aside we will also get a power cable this is the same power cable uh, that connects to your power supply so let's keep it aside this is also a plus point uh, and then you will get uh, the device itself so this is your parallel connectors the older style hard drives used to use these connectors and also some older style uh, CD drives you also used to use this connector but we will not be using this anymore because uh, almost all the drives today even the CD-ROMs are uh, your SATA now this is your SATA data cable as you can see and on this here the main device you will see that there is a SATA port so you will connect a SATA cable to here and then this connects to a USB port which is there now this part will connect to your uh, USB port and this device will convert your uh, SATA hard disk uh, will will give you a, a SATA port on this device so let's uh, just keep the device aside in the box you will also get a power connector because we will need at least 12 volt and 5 volt for our laptop hard disk if you're using a desktop hard disk then we will need a 12 volt so this will provide uh, power through the molex connector and to this uh, molex uh, connector we will connect our molex connector here let me just do that we will do that in a second and then inside the box you will get a small user manual and that's it so let's keep it aside okay now in order to connect your hard disk to your computer all you will need is basically first you will need to connect you will need to give supply power to your hard disk and to supply power to your hard disk you will need a small power cable and the good thing about this box is that you will also get a power cable now you may not get this big power cable because my power cable that came in the box uh, got broken I'm using a old power supply power cable so let's just do that so let's connect the power cable first now we're done now to the adapter we will connect our molex connector that will supply uh, power so this is the power cable of your hard disk this is the SATA and this is the molex connector so let's connect the molex connector to the uh, hard disk Sorry, Molex, Molex connector to the adapter. There we go. And now, now we have the power. And here is a hard disk. So this is a, a desktop hard disk that I will be connecting to. And let's keep it aside. So in order to run a hard disk, you will need two things. The first thing that we need is uh, we need to supply power to our hard disk. So through this adapter, we will be able to supply power to our hard disk. So let's uh, connect the power connector. There we go. So the power to our hard disk is now connected. <coughs> now we need, we need something to take the data away from the hard disk. And that's where we will need to take our SATA cable. This is our SATA data cable and let's connect this to our hard disk. Okay, so the adapter is supplying power to our hard disk. If this was a laptop hard disk, then this will supply 5 volt. In this case, this is a desktop hard disk, so this will supply 12 volt. 
and this device is basically converting our data from your SATA hard disk into USB and on this end you have the USB port so let's just connect this to a computer and see whether it works or not okay so let's just see again what we have connected uh, what we've done so far so basically there's a power ext extension to which I've connected the uh, power supply so the power supply is supplying power to our uh, hard disk using a molex connector the molex connector is basically connected to the hard disk using the sata power connector and then to the hard disk there you can see we have connected a sata cable and then the sata cable connects to our usb device and to the usb device we have our usb connector so let me just uh, show you my computer you can probably see that there is no hard disk showing up there are three drives the top drive is the c drive the d drive and the e drive but there is no other drive showing up so let me just connect the usb uh, uh, hard disk and see whether another drive shows up so let me just uh, do that <coughs> so this is the uh, usb cable that's my usb port So I've connected the hard disk and let me just turn on the uh, extension so that our hard disk can get power. You can see the LED on the power supply is uh, glowing. And let's take a look at the computer again. So, so far nothing is showing up. And let me just so they they can see that uh, we have a new drive and as you can see it is uh, we have two new drives one is uh, let me zoom it in so the one drive is your f drive which is the 244 gb and the other drive is your uh, g drive which is the 221 gb so there we go this was my video on how you can connect any kind of hard disk SATA hard disk uh, using USB to your computer. This uh, video helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.